you really thought that Solar 3.0 couldn't get any better this season. Warlocks have had something brewing for a long time, allowing you to spread infinite scorch and poison in what's arguably the best necromancer build you've ever seen in 3 minutes or less. This D2 Beyond Light Warlock exotic has always been extremely potent, and with each new subclass update since, it's gradually upgraded itself to become even more toxic. Grasp of the Devourer literally gives you poison at the tips of your fingers, as damaging an enemy with any melee hit will poison them causing damage over time, and when defeated this will also spread the poison to nearby targets. Literally any melee ability will do it, but the new Incinerator Snap melee is arguably the best one yet. Not only will you poison enemies thanks to Necrotic Grip, but you'll now scorch targets and even ignite them, making room to double down for even more damage potential. To do this, you'll not only need an excellent bunch of new Solar 3.0 aspects and fragments, but also a top new endgame PvE weapon combo too. To set up the infinite melee ability that'll bind this build together, you'll want to use Heat Rises. You won't be so much using it to consume your grenade for the in-air bonus it offers, but more so just to bunny hop around and deal infinite tick damage with poisonous hellfire, which will grant you infinite back-to-back -back melees at the click of your fingers. Icarus Dash is my next aspect pick, as the movement potential is just too good to turn down to be honest, plus you can get the double dash ability if you do activate Heat Rises. Now the set of fragments we've chosen will get you the infinite scorch, ignition and poison damage synergy without nuking everything but just enough to see them will. Ember of Ashes is going to apply more stacks of Scorch to targets, with each Scorch target that you defeat granting melee energy too thanks to the Ember of Searing. Any enemies that you manage to ignite will also spread Scorch to nearby targets with the Ember of Char, and the Ember of Solace will make your Radiant and Restoration effects last longer. How are you going to become Radiant I hear you ask? Well you're going to chuck on the Radiant Orbs mod. This seasonal mod allows you to stay away from the Radiant Fragment slot this season, and will make you Radiant by simply collecting an Orb of Power. You'll get that sickly sweet 25% weapon damage bonus when Radiant, so make sure that you've got the Kinetic Cypher mod equipped. Then, you'll be using the ever faithful Osteo Strigger Exotic SMG as your main primary of choice. You'll chew through enemies with its toxic rounds, and with the Catalyst you'll effectively never need to reload the weapon either in this setup, creating tons of orbs in the process. Pair it with the Overload Rounds mod, and you'll also reduce the damage output of all combatants as well as stunning Overload Champions, with a nice revitalising blast as a cherry on top of this poisonous concoction. As you'll be high on the fumes of melee energy, adding Melee Wellmaker to create a bunch of elemental wells, with the Well of Life which will help to keep you alive in the heat of the toxicity, with Bountiful Wells and Elemental Time Dilation boosting this setup too. Well of Ordinance is a great shout, and will also help to return some grenade energy on top. If you've managed to bag an incandescent energy weapon, especially the Without Remorse shotgun, you can also slot this in, which will help to spread more scorch and poison to targets. I'll leave the Destiny Item Manager build link down below for you to copy, and if you enjoyed this quick 3 minute build, then maybe you need to get yourself the new Warlock Exotic Boots too. They're absolutely cracked, and you don't want to miss them.